everybody, Keith Weingey here. Um, what do we love? Why do we enjoy wine? What is it about this beverage that really makes it pleasurable to us? When you smell a wine, it takes you places. You smell aromas that are not really in the wine, but that evoke flavors and aromas of, of tobacco and, and asparagus and things that are pleasurable to you that, are, that you know from your memory. What happens when somebody pops a bottle of wine, pours the wine into the glass, someone sniffs it and goes, it's corked. What does corked wine mean? The idea of corked taint is not fully understood, but this is what we know. These little guys come from a forest, a cork forest. There's a tree called a cork tree. It's part of the oak family. And when these trees are stripped of their bark, and brought to a facility to be made into corks. Certain things have to happen. One of the things that happens is they bleach these little guys to kill any harmful bacteria. But when they do bleach these guys, sometimes these things called chlorophenols stay in the cork. And when you pop, when you put the cork into a bottle of wine, the cork is sitting there interacting with the wine itself because it has, you know, it's exposed to the wine. There's always a little bit of air between the wine and the cork. In that little place, they believe there's these airborne fungi. And these airborne fungi sometimes interact with the chlorophenols. And they create something harmful and horrible that ruins wine absolutely. It's called TCA, also known as 2,4,6-trichloronesol. What this will do in very, very small trace amounts, two to three hundred parts per million gets into the wine and strips the wine of all flavor. So when you smell a wine, you're supposed to be smelling rose petals and things that make you feel good, things that make you, that transcend to somewhere else. But if you smell wine and there's nothing in it, then that's a corked wine. What does cork taint smell like? It's very popular to say moldy newspaper, wet cardboard, or your grandpa's basement. And that's what it is. It's a mustiness. It's a nasty mustiness. And what that mustiness is doing is it's taking away all flavors of the wine. All those subtle complexities that you want to smell that help you enjoy this beautiful natural phenomenon are gone. So whenever you smell a wine and you're, you're, you're expecting to smell all this awesome stuff and all you smell is a thin, musty, wet cardboard smell, that's corked wine. And that's when you tell your waiter or you go back to your wine merchant and you say it's corked and they will taste it and they will smell nothing and they will go absolutely and they'll return the wine for you. They should. <laughs>